Hi everyone. Um, I'm going to talk about subtracting fractions today and I'm going to show what's actually happening when we subtract fractions by using Cuisinier rods. Cuisinier rods are um, a math manipulative that have units of measurement from 1 to 10. Um, so let's get started. Let's try um, 2 thirds. Take away one fourth, or we also call that a quarter. So the first thing I'm going to do is build my fractions. So two thirds would be a red over a light green, and one quarter would be a white over a purple. Okay, now in order to subtract these fractions, um, I need to have a common unit of measurement. Um, so I need to make the denominators the same. So I can look at my numbers and come up with um, something like a common number that they both fit into um, using multiplication. Or I can use my Cuisinier rods, which is more fun, and build a common denominator. So I'm going to start trying to see if I can get my two light greens to be the same length as one purple, which of course is impossible. So then I'm, my next strategy is then to take two purples and see if I can build it using my light greens. And again, that's not working. So I'm simply gonna add another purple and see if I can make them the same that way. And lo and behold, it works. Um, so now I can um, build my, I can find equivalent fractions for my original fractions using the common denominator of um, this is equal to 3, so 3, 6, 9, 12. This is 4, 8, 12. So my common denominator is going to be 12. So let's just separate my denominators here. Now remember when you're working with fractions that whatever you do to the bottom of a fraction, you need to do to the top and vice versa. So I have taken my denominator and I've multiplied it by 4. Right? I have 1 here, 1 times 4 is 4. Whatever I do to the bottom, I need to do to the top. So I have one red there. And I need to have four. Okay, let's line that up. So same thing on this side. Um, I now have three purples, so I need to do the same thing to the top of my fraction. So I went from one white to three whites. Okay, so now what does this actually equal in terms of numbers? We've already decided that the denominators for both of these fractions are now equal to 12. This one's pretty easy. We've got 3 twelfths. Um, in this case, this is worth 2. So 2, 4, 6, 8. These fractions are equivalent to these fractions. They mean the same thing. I haven't changed their value at all, but now I'm working with a common denominator. So I'm subtracting these two fract uh, fractions. So um, in my answer, I can make uh, 12. So I can do that in any way I want now that I know that that's common. So I can use um, an orange and a red, okay? So that's my common denominator is 12. Um, and now I have to subtract my numerators. So eight, and I'm going to be taking away three. So I actually can fit them right on. So this red is going to be gone completely. And then I have to take one more away from this red. So actually I'm going to change this red into two whites. So I haven't changed the value. I still have eight up here. Um, but I'm taking away three. So that is equal to that. Okay, so what do I have left? Two, four, five. So, which one is a five? Well, I can use two reds and a white. And I have five twelfths left. So my answer is five twelfths. Two thirds take away one quarter is five twelfths.